Hello and welcome to or back to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know every single time I upload a new video. I'm Ray, and today, at the request of a lot of people, we are back with the Crybaby Wins Legacy Challenge. We have a pretty big day coming up here, so without further ado, we're just gonna get right into things. All right, so we're not gonna waste any time today. It is Thursday, and I believe it is also Christmas Eve or Winter's Eve, I should say, which means uh, it is also Sakura's birthday today. That's fantastic because this is basically the start of the second generation. And as we can see, Oberon is now living here with Daffodil, who is doing politician work. Right now, she is a social justice worker, so she is on level three of her career and she is on her way to level four for her promotion so i'm actually going to have her let's have her work hard today so that way we can increase her work performance because i did not successfully promote any causes i'm not doing my job who would have thought Oberon is a surgeon and he actually has work right now we can join him um i've never played this career before so i'm just gonna send him alone because i don't really feel like playing it but now that sakura is on her way to aging up i I am gonna start focusing on her I guess essentially what will be like her oh. on her way into City Hall a reporter shouted out a question daffodil how can you work for a politician that continues to approve new construction that's threatening the natural habitat of llamas we have llamas around here will daffodil bluff her way through an answer or will she keep walking without answering um so if she answers the reporter she will gain fame but she will make a new enemy and if she ignores the reporter her life will continue unchanged. I'm gonna answer the reporter because I really don't care, <laughs> to be honest. And then we get another notification, outdoor studying. The teacher announces some outdoor study time to get the kids out of the classroom for a while. Should Rosie take her studying outside or just go hang out with her friends until it's time to go back inside? I think Rosie takes her studies very seriously, so we'll have her study outside. Although it's odd because Rosie's a teenager and that felt like kind of a kiddish thing, the way it said play outside. <laughs> As Daffodil stumbled her way through discussing the great work the politicians in City Hall were doing to help disadvantaged Sims, she noticed a crowd of protesters had gathered nearby. Someone yelled out, but what about the llamas? It was clear that Daffodil had missed the mark with her answer. This would undoubtedly be the top story on the evening news. Daffodil has made an enemy out of the llama activist, Dirk Dreamer. Rosie is pretty upset that she's not having the best day after school. Look at that face. Yeah, she looks pretty pissed. But anyways, I'm gonna have her go ahead and do her homework. I don't think Sakura needs to do her homework today considering she ages up today So I'm not gonna worry about that, but I am gonna worry about the other kids doing their homework So we're gonna take an angry poop today. That is how we resolve all of our problems I'm enjoying G's shade, but I'm considering switching back to reshade. I heard that it's working again So, um, I don't know. It's just I thought I was noticing less lagging with G shade, but Duke wants to come over to hang out. I guess I guess that's that's fine. I'm just glad he's being an active father in his children's lives. But once Sakura ages up, then I think we're gonna start doing things for Gen 2. Okay. I think we're gonna start doing things for Gen 2. Um, I'm pretty excited. I don't know if I should, like, consider this the beginning of Generation 2. Um, I know somebody asked me because, uh, the aspiration for this first Gen, it does involve your child or grandchild having to reach the top of a career and your child also having to complete an aspiration. So, one of your kids can complete their aspiration. Um, in let's see. So, the social butterfly aspiration for meet five new sims. I thought he did why is it zero out of five? He's been meeting new sims. I don't understand. He met Mary. He met Tabitha. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay. Girly, okay. Use your fucking intuition. What do you think? Do you think eating dirt is actually okay? What would I say as a parent? I would probably say go ahead. No, I'm just kidding. I, I would not do that. Please don't shame me. Um, we'll just say if if you do, kids might tease you, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. That was a stupid question. These kids are freaking insane. I cannot believe that they just asked me if eating dirt is actually healthy. Oh my god, she's inside the kitchen microwave and now she's inside the sink and now she's inside the stove. Somebody send help. My child. Well, anyways, I was gonna use Valentine for his aspiration, but oh wait, okay, it updated. Uh, that scared me. So he needs to achieve level five social skill and then he needs to make a best friend forever. That could probably just be his sister, to be honest, because they are doing pretty great. So we have
have become best friends forever. I'm just gonna have him do that with her. We'll get that part of the aspiration out of the way, and he also needs to achieve level five in his social skill, which shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so love and Valentine are now best friends forever. Super duper cute. Of course, it makes sense. It makes sense. Why wouldn't it? Love just reached social level six, so she's actually doing a lot better than Valentine even. Daffodil's gonna go to bed. Um, she's done. This work life is just not for her, to be honest. She is not digging it too much. And I totally forgot. Oh my gosh, Auburn, I need you, sweetie. I need you to make a cake for your daughter. I guess once he finishes taking a bath, he can go ahead and make a cake for Sakura. It's too bad that Daffodil is like too tired because of her job. Everyone is in such a shitty ass mood around here. I can't freaking stand it. Auburn is so tired and does not want to do this. He aged up, by the way. He's an adult as well. His kids are fine. I didn't move in either of them though because we already have quite a full house going here. I cannot believe they're asking me this again. Are you kidding? I feel like Abron would say that eating dirt is really unhealthy just because he's a doctor, you know? What was that little miss thing? Slamming like she owns the place. Oh, he just completed a milestone. Okay, so he now needs to become best friends with three other children. What? Become friends with two adults and achieve level 10 social skill. Do his parents not count as adults? Because he's friends with Duke and he's friends with Daffodil. That should count, right? Okay, wait, no, you forgot to put the freaking birthday candles in. It is so annoying trying to get everybody's needs up, like, after they get home from work and everything. They're all annoying. Okay, I'm gonna have her go blow out the candles quickly. This is just, it's a freaking nightmare over here. Alberon's tired and hungry, apparently. Oh, look at him. He's actually watching her. I've never seen them actually do this. They would just walk away. So she's got the trait proper okay so for generation two which is bombs on monday morning um she needs to have the unflirty the loves outdoors and the cheerful trait i am gonna have to change this one in cast which is no problem because we're about to take her in cast but i'll go ahead and i'll give her the cheerful trait and then for her aspiration it is going to be freelance botanist all right so here is sakura all aged up and fixed up in cast as always i do not alter any of their features i just fix what we already were working with and this is how she turned out i think she looks a lot like daffodil and oberon i don't know i see both of them she especially looks a lot like poppy who is oberon's daughter so i'm guessing she does get a good chunk of her looks from oberon but i think she turned out super cute and i love her and now we've got two teenage girls in the house so yay we love to see it so much drama um I went ahead and I fixed up her traits as well in cast. So now she has the cheerful and the unflirty trait. I figured it would make sense to make her an unflirty sim from her teenage years just because of the storyline. It, it made sense to me. And I guess now this could be like the start of Gen 2 technically. It's super exciting though. And um, how much longer do we have until the twins age up? Um, We've got about eight days until the twins age up but i can't believe all my kids are aging up i'm gonna go over the rules of gen 2 real quick kind of just to tell you guys and also i really need the refresher because i can't quite remember okay in this generation we do need to have a dead lover with the traits loves the outdoors loner and vegetarian we're gonna plant a pomegranate garden in the backyard we're gonna sell flowers as a side gig we're gonna create a death flower we're gonna bring back our dead lover but change their traits to loner gloomy and evil we need to have children but um in this generation we can have as many as we want so we're probably just gonna stick to one this time we need to master the gardener skill your partner needs to join the criminal career after resurrection and then we have to complete the freelance batonist aspiration and that is it so with sakura i suppose we're gonna be introducing a love interest for her soon because um I'm guessing she's going to meet him sometime in her teenage years just so that we can explain why he dies so early on <laughs> as a young adult. Also, Rosie ages up in eight days, so she ages up like the same day as the twins. That's going to be a pretty eventful day. It's going to be on Easter, and then Daffodil only has 13 days left until she ages up. Um, let's see Auburn. Auburn ages up in 14 days. Oh my goodness, they're going to be dead soon. 
soon. Rest in peace. <laughs> I'm acting like the elderly stage is just the end of your life. Like that's it. End of the road. You're done. You're done. You're done. Anyways, it's about to be Christmas. So I should probably put, set up some Christmas stuff, right? We've like already celebrated a Christmas here. We're celebrating another Christmas. I wonder, did I sell everything or did I leave it in the inventory? No, I sold everything because I'm a rat, but I do have peanut butter and jelly sandwich in here. Okay, perfect. A boring ass house for a boring ass family. I couldn't have asked for anything better. We didn't even put the presents near the Christmas tree. They're just gonna stand out here like this because, um, I couldn't fit them. And, um, hopefully no one wants to come see our family for Christmas because I am pretty over how many people are inside this one house that isn't supposed to be homing six individuals, but it is anyway because we're making it like that. Like, really, there just wasn't enough room for all of this, and I made it happen anyways. Why is he taking a nap up here? I think it's super cute that it's snowing for Christmas. Unfortunately, we still have our Halloween decorations up. Daffodil, why aren't you doing your work around this house? I don't know what anything about anything means, so I kind of just, you know, like, what the hell's a spandrel? What's a, fr what, what's a freeze, freeze? What the is that? What are Eves? I don't know. I'm just gonna gun it. All right, besties, pray for me that this doesn't look too messed up because I seriously don't know. The fence is cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Very festive, very wintry. Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. This is, it's a look. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. There is so much crap to do constantly around this freaking godforsaken house. I can't believe it. You would think nobody around here knows how to do anything. I'm gonna have Daftil cook a grand meal. We're gonna have, what do you have for for Christmas? What do people eat for Christmas? All I ever ate for Christmas was like a fat load of nothing. I, w I got cocoa puffs. I guess we'll have a ham dinner. I don't know. That seems really fancy, no? Text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back. Oh, girly, I feel you. And it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? I cannot tell you how many times I have gone through this in my life. So I'm going to tell myself the advice that I wish I would listen to, which is um, just text them again. Like, yeah, just do it. She's hugging her trash and then she's wondering why she can't get a text back. Is Abron helping her? Oh, how sweet. See, now she's getting attention and I love that for her. She needed this. She really and truly did. All right, little miss show off. Can you just hurry the hell up, please? She sat down. So no. Resume the ham dinner. Don't poison it. Just resume it. I cannot tell you how many times she has stopped cooking to eat cake. In fact, I think I'm going to clean the cake out of the fridge because it's just, it's a freaking nuisance at this point. Okay, um, dinner is served, bitches, at 10 a.m. Everyone come eat. Sorry, mommy's schedule is a little bit backwards. I don't get any and sleep. And then she's just sad over here. She's sad because she had a bad holiday. Police. Isn't it weird to make a child make friends with like two adults? Like what would be the point of that? Can somebody explain it to me why that's part of the social butterfly aspiration for children? Personally, I don't want my kids making friends with adults I don't know. Okay, we just reached social level six with him. So I guess just talking to people is like the fastest way to build up their social skill. Rosie just became good friends with love. Really? That's sweet. Okay, and then Valentine just reached another social skill. So, I mean, this is going great for him, actually. And everyone is in, like, a fantastic mood for once. I can't believe it. He reached social level eight. We're blasting through this. What the hell? And he just reached social level nine. What? He literally has so many interactions where he just wants to praise the vampire lifestyle. I don't know if he's trying to tell me something. I don't know if little Valentine over here wants to be a vampire one day. But I don't know. I feel like I would kind of dig that vibe on him. Wait, right now? I guess y'all are doing this right now. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess so much for building our social skill. We were, we were on a roll here, but some people just cannot keep it in their pants, I guess. <laughs> oh, he already, he went ahead and he reached social level 10. Okay. Well, good for him, I guess. Um, Sakura has all these plans out here that she was working on and I don't think that they're good anymore. I'm gonna have her go uproot everything and maybe like buy more stuff just because I want her to work on her gardening skill. We're gonna purchase some seeds. We can get some 
seeds oh my god no we're not gonna be that kind of person okay um we'll get some starter flowers and starter fruits are we able to actually grow anything right now because it's snowing outside i don't even know open this pit up okay what do we get we got plantains we got daisies we got bluebells blue balls and grapes isn't there other ways to like up your gardening skill i okay um there's the flower arranging table but it's not the same thing i guess we could just have her arrange flowers in the winter when she can't really do much else i don't know what else we could do for her we'll make a blue bell arrangement because we have blue bells okay um he completed having to reach level 10 of his social skill and he needs to become best friends with two adults or not best friends he needs to become friends with two adults um maybe we could invite daisy over and he can become friends with her as well i don't know i i don't like the idea of my kids like being friends with strangers it's freaking weird i know it's just a game i know they're already on their way they're here okay so since she's here first i'm gonna have him talk to her posy has spread some juicy gossip about, about sakura like her own sister how dare you look at sakura just back here minding her own business making flower arrangements it's freaking rude she's like being rude to him already he's just a freaking kid like get over it get over yourself oh look at that ass on daffodil good lord girly why are you walking around and your ass walks in five minutes later good for you oh look she's giving him a gift oh that's sweet what a sweet aunt. Kinda. Okay, he is friends with two adults now. All that's left is we have to have him be friends with three kids. We have to become friends with three other children. Love can narrate a tale of dolls on a dollhouse, really? Wow, what a smarty pants. I'm so fascinated by her. These kids always ask the dumbest questions, I swear to God. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. Keep looking for it, loser. Everybody up in this bitch is about to sing some Christmas carols. The Grinch is about to bust down our door and start stealing our sh**. All right, everybody, don't get too excited. Do not get too excited now. Oh, did she just walk out? I thought we were gonna start singing some Christmas carols. Y'all suck at this. You guys are barely trying, please. Wow, wow, riveting. Amazing, thank you. Okay, that's like, that's enough 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 that's enough let's put down some presents can we not do that where the f is mr claus is she complaining about a monster under the bed girl you're like 17 get over it oh my god not the trash again oh my god y'all need to shut up father winter is gonna come over and he's gonna immediately leave once he sees this family singing all over the place he's gonna be over it so fast i don't know what do you guys think is this like technically the start of gen 2 or what because i am starting to focus on Sakura and what we need to get done for her. Oh look, an intruder. Someone just broke into our house. Some guy acting like he's Santa Claus or something. Oh wait, is that considered a love interaction? Let's not do that please why is he uncomfortable is he trying to say something about my house look i do my best to keep this place as clean as i possibly can but a lot of idiots live here okay don't give me something stupid because you always do that crap he got a postcard really that's the best you can do i freaking hate you i still haven't forgotten that you gave daffodil a carrot oh my god i cannot believe everyone is doing this stupid laugh around here does no one know how to use the bathroom by themselves i mean good god you guys are potty trained what did daffodil get a crisper i i I guess what like an air fryer is that what that is all right come on you old bastard hand over the gifts all right you better give my baby girl sakura something good i swear to god she's had a difficult life hello is he okay she got a fire opal what the hell am i supposed to do with that oh my god oh my god oh my god stop it stop it stop i'm just having all of my greedy ass kids ask for their presents and barely even talk to him because why would they the dude's only good for one thing and he's not even doing that great of a job at it she got sapphire dude what the hell are you carrying all this stuff for stop guys stop i swear to god she's combating a cold where did she get a cold from what oh no now the whole house is gonna get sick you doofus did he leave did he freaking disappear? Is he gone? Oh, my kids didn't get to ask him for presents. What? I will especially not forgive him for this because it's not even 2 a.m. yet. Are these presents not functional? I thought that these were the functional ones. Hold on. Okay, no, that was my mistake. I picked the wrong ones. These are the functional presents. Actually, let's have all the kids open presents together. Look, she's so excited. She's dancing. Where are the kids going? I thought we were all going to open presents. The hell? Rosie got an easel. 
that's actually pretty cool she got a train set really um okay well i guess she likes it what did he get he didn't like it oh <laughs> he got a large pet poop okay well i mean he probably deserved it to be honest she got a lump of clay and she's like yeah that's chill okay um yeah i guess all right abron should get something too what did he get let's see he got a soul star athletic poster who is giving these gifts okay well daffodils asleep so i guess the entire family has now celebrated christmas without her but really who gives a f anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's episode i hope that you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already and of course as always i will see you in the next episode Bye bye